I'm Jamie Cox, uh, professional fighter, 11 and 0. Training's going great at the minute. Um, by the time the fight comes up, uh, it would have been 14 weeks of uh, camp, and uh, it's, it's been going great. You know, I mean, uh, th this camp, everything's been put in place, and uh, it's run smooth. There hasn't been no hiccups. I mean, I got quite inspiring last time out when I was training, and um, this time uh, I've been wearing uh, a nose bar head guard and so I saved any cuts and injuries before this fight. So everything's run smoothly and it's on point. Uh, two weeks before the fight, um, I was sparring and um, I got cut just above my right eyebrow, uh, which I got cut again in the fight in the round two. Um, but, you know, sometimes these things happen and I needed to fight. And, um, you know, you learn from that. And uh, the, the first two rounds were great. I come out lovely start boxing and, um, the game plan that we had to was go to the left just to protect their eye, breaking them down with ones and twos, uh, just for the early part going to the left, um, and which I was, I, I dropped him in the first round. Uh, then then uh, Mark, Mark uh, had a clash, we had a clash of heads and um, I got cut again. And obviously fair play to Mark, you know, his game plan was to smother my work, get in close, be, be a little bit dirty, rough me up. And he frustrated me because I couldn't get uh, my boxing off. But the last two rounds, I shook it off, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard it, as they call it, and uh, come out there and produce the goods in the, the last last round. This camp I've been sparring, um, Bache Watori only just fought recently. He got a draw. Uh, me personally, I think he won. And uh, he come over from Sweden. Uh, he's boxed in Vegas about seven or eight times, uh, trained with all the great fighters, Mayweather and Diego Corrales, was, one of his good friends, so um, yeah, I've been I've been working with him. He's uh, been great for great sparring with me, and um, learned a lot of him. And also, I've been sparring with Robert Lloyd Taylor, who's been coming down the later part of this week, which is uh, another great fight from Britain. So yeah, I've had I've got some good sparring partners at the minute. I fight July 24th against um, uh, Stefan O'Kane. Uh, he's from Ghana. I expect him to be real rugged and tough. He's, um, you know, obviously I can't get a video of him. Um, I don't think he's boxed no one outside the, of Africa, so it's very hard to get video footage. But you know, uh, I know I know their sort of styles. They're they're quite tough, rugged, and you know they come really hard to fight. You know, um, uh, but any style, uh, I think we'll be prepared for on July 24th. So yeah, I'll be ready. Uh, it's going to be a three-minute round. Um, it's at the Oasis Leisure, Leisure Centre. Um, my sponsor um, is sponsoring the event itself, uh, George White Superbikes, and um, you know they've been with me throughout my career. Uh, and uh, I have enough, uh, enough love, support, and respect for them guys uh, at George White's, especially Steve Gannicott. Uh, he's backed me fully all the way. So um, yeah, I'm going to do them proud once again. <laughs> But well, I've been a pro two and a half years now, and um, I want to go the old-fashioned route, uh, which is the British title to win that. I mean, I've set my sights on that. I've said that. Um, Kawai's at the minute, and obviously Frank promotes us both. Um, and I think he'd rather uh, keep uh, not make that fight happen right at the minute. Obviously, uh, be better, better reasons. But um, I'm keeping my options open at the minute, and I'm not going to um, rush in, rush into anything too soon. Um, I think I'm the most exciting young fighter in Britain at the minute and I don't want to rush into a, any one direction too soon but expect Jamie Cox to finish off with a big bang this year. It's been great working with Paddy, uh, the gym, the gym there's all respect here, um, everyone gets along, I mean from right from the, the young kids that walk through the door just getting their introduction into the sport to uh, the pros that work here. Um, it's a great vibe in here and, um, you know, uh, Paddy's always putting events on. I mean, don't expect me to be uh, rushing off anywhere too far soon after July 24th. And he's got me um, doing things July 26th, but uh, Dawkins School in Swindon. Uh, I think it's a fight and feast night, something like that, but it's going to be great. He's maybe master of ceremonies there. Um, also in Swindon, there's a, in the town centre there, there's a big, big screen. Uh, I think it's one of eight in... Um, the UK and uh, there's going to be a boxing ring there and some workouts and 
uh, people getting put through their paces and bikes and all sorts of things, you know, and uh, it, it's great. I mean, you know, there's always things going on at the gym. I mean, even there's fight, little fight nights going on at the gym here in the South, so uh, especially with the amateurs coming through now, you've got Callum Costello, uh, Marcel Douglas and a few other guys that are coming on through here and expect big things of them too uh, in the next few years. So, yeah, yeah, it's really, really moving. I've just launched a new website um, with the help of uh, Jazz Bones. Um, Jazz, uh, jazzbones.com. Uh, it's called jamiecoxpro.com. Check it out. Um, it's got all the information about my upcoming fights, uh, all, all my bio, what I've done, pictures, videos. There's even a shop on there too if anyone wants to buy some Jamie Cox t shirts. And uh, you know, it would just be cool for people to go on there and just check it out and uh, just, just keep up to date with my uh, career. Imagine that with eight ounce club. <laughs>